Hello, everyone, and thank you for being with us on the Data and AI World Tour. You've heard from Ali and Michael and Reynolds and Clemens about a lot of key parts of our vision. And we want to round that out now and tell you about other aspects of our roadmap. Now, when you were watching the other keynotes, you might have thought, this is amazing. I want to do all of this, but I only have this staff right now. I'm busy with all of these things. Everybody's asking a lot of me and I can't do it all. I want to do, I want to follow this vision, but I can't do it all. So we are building a platform and the design point of the platform is to make it 10 times easier for you to transform your business on this lake house vision. And we'll walk through pieces of that in the next, next few minutes. So we've covered how the data lake house offers you a better path. You get to use all of your data that's in your data lake in this open system with commodity storage so you can put everything in it. And it, it layers structure on top of that so anybody in your data journey can get full use of all of the data. For example, your SQL analysts that are used to working on a data warehouse that's a stale copy of part of the data can now work on all of the data in your data lake that's become this lake house with all of the structure, performance, and con concurrency capabilities you need for high throughput SQL analysis. Your machine learning engineers can now run any code they want, their latest libraries, their latest frameworks that Databricks packages up to run against the lake house. But also think about an experiment that you ran yesterday and had an astoundingly great outcome. You want to be able to run that same experiment on the data as it was at two o'clock yesterday. All of the, the, the time travel capabilities and the transactional logs in the lake house make that possible. They can use the tools of their choice operating on the same data with no latency issues in, in, in the data, in the source where the data is. And then your data scientists that want to be doing exploratory work in Python, R, Scala, Java, they can operate on the same data using the latest notebooks and even on their own kind of local nodes connecting through the internet to this lake house. So they can use the tools of their choice to operate on the same data foundation that your SQL analysts and your machine learning engineers are working on. And then almost more importantly, as you transform around the lake house, you're gonna be running your business on this data in real time. You're gonna have data products based on this data that you're selling. You need your data engineering pipelines and workloads to be operating in situ on the same lake house. The lake house makes all of this possible. But then you're thinking to yourself, that's a lot of data. And how am I gonna be able to manage all of it? You have this data, different people need access to different sets of data. Some of it's compliance driven, some of it's uh, you know the, the capabilities of the individuals driven, some of it's having to do with locality laws of where this data can go and who can use it from what country. So how do you deal with that? Well, better management and governance for all of your data is a prerequisite for transforming your business on the lake house. So we have this new effort called the Unity Catalog aimed at solving this problem. Now you might be thinking, I've always had a catalog. I've been doing data warehousing for 30 years. There's a catalog there. Each tool and persona generally has a way to catalog the data and use the data, but it's typically limited to that persona. And even if you have a catalog across your personas, it's limited to the cloud you're in. There's an AWS catalog. There's an Azure or a GCP catalog. The Unity Catalog is a place where you can stipulate for your company the data access rules, uh, the data sets that should be used and how they should be protected, and then apply that across all personas for the lake house and in any cloud you operate. So you can find all of your data, you can understand and extract business value from your data, and you can protect it for compliance needs, data locality regulations in different countries, or simply what you want certain people to have access to manage and control. So what does that look like? We give you this interface that can be operated on, you know, your SQL engineers can use SQL commands, 
to do grant statements on it, or people can use whatever code language they're using to operate on the Unity catalog. But it lets you see who has access to what, an inventory of all of your data, assets, objects, et cetera, across all of your clouds with all the detailed lineage so you can track your business on it and operate your business on it. One catalog across all use cases and all clouds. Now, that's key, but it's also built on an open ecosystem. So you're saying to yourself, I already have a Hive Meta store. I have a, a data governance tool that does a lot of these things. The Unity Catalog is open by design, federated by design to plug into all of these things. You can take your existing data in your blob storage in any cloud and mount it in the Unity Catalog. You can take existing Hive Meta stores and mount them in the Unity Catalog. You can extend it with a Muta, Prevacera, et cetera. So you get this one system that's federated and open by nature to govern your entire lake house and all these personas. Coming this year, we're going to add on top of this a data and application marketplace. So stay tuned for that. OK, so now I have all of my data. I can govern it across all these systems and all my personas can work on it. What about the existing data ecosystem I have? OK, so you have data right now in a lot of places that aren't in your lake house. The open nature of the lake house, the open foundation of its DNA allows all of these different segments of the ecosystem to extend and enrich your lake house, including all of the, the vendors and tools that you use today. So we've also introduced Databricks Partner Connect. What is this? If you have a lot of data in your business systems or in relational databases, operational databases that aren't in your lake house, these partners plug right in to the system you have where you can point and click and enable your Fivetran, your DBT labs, et cetera, your Rivery, your Airbyte to take all of this data in your Salesforce and merge that into your lake house in real time. So if you want to take your business data and merge that with your analytical data, Today, you might have to employ a data scientist or a data engineer to build those pipelines. No more. You can simply use this partner ecosystem to connect your business systems with your lake house, to connect your operational systems to your lake house. And this all works because open source is the core of the lake house platform. It's built on Spark, MLflow, Koalas for data scientists, Delta Lake as the foundation for the transactional logs, Redash for reporting, Airflow for operation, et cetera. So all of these tools you know and love and you've been driving your business on plug right into the lake house model. So I know a lot of you love Airflow. I've talked to you about it. It's a tool people use to orchestrate a lot of jobs in a variety of environments, including Databricks and the lake house. What we're allowing you to do now is we're going to offer first class support for Airflow, Airflow workflows. And what that lets you do is take the, the, the workflow you've established in Airflow and have us run it for you directly in Databricks. It's fully integrated in the Databricks platform, in the UI, APIs, ACLs, and then you get all of the audit history and everything in Databricks. And we offer you reliable scheduling and a fully managed infrastructure. So it, again, it takes a lot of the burden off of you and will run the Airflow DAG for you. And then many of you are big fans of DBT. So DBT is a new open source approach for data analysts and data engineers to use SQL to transform data. Now we're embracing DBT and all of your DBT projects can be used directly in the lake house. They'll be accelerated with our Photon engine, which is a, a, a new vectorized from the core engine to run these pipelines much faster, which you've heard about in other talks. You get your run history and debugging all within the lake house platform, and you don't have to manage any infrastructure or, or configuration. So typically, DBT needs something to run it, and you have to manage those things and worry about those things. With us taking this as a first class notion of the lake house, we take that over for you. So again, at the beginning, you were worried, how am I going to do all of these things that we heard about in these keynotes? We're making it easy for you. So now as you're using these tools, 
Airflow, DBT are intrinsic tools to manipulate all of your data in the lake house, to transform it for your different personas, your SQL, machine learning engineers, your data pipelines. We give you monitoring and debugging and repairing information directly into the tools you love the most, Prometheus, Grafana. We're gonna give you a central page to debug a job, but also we're gonna be sending all of this telemetry, the tools of your choice that you use today to debug your existing jobs. So you get all the repair, partial reruns, backfills in, in the native tools and Databricks, and you also get to monitor them in your own tools to, to make this all at production scale for your lake house. Okay, so now we've talked about how you can take this lake house paradigm and unblock all of your personas to operate on the same data where it is, how we do that with governance. We've also talked about how with Partner Connect, you can easily connect all your business systems and operational data stores and bring that data into your lake house for a full view of your business. Once you have the data in the lake house, how do you share it with your partners? And you might say, I've been doing sharing for years. I've been you know, sharing the data in my warehouse with people. I've been sharing data in my data lake with people. I mount an S3 bucket and I expose it to people. But all of those things share within part of the system, within a vertical tool or within a single cloud or within a closed ecosystem. So we're announcing Delta sharing, which is the industry's first open standard for secure data sharing. It's fully open, there's no proprietary lock-in. It's not restricted to a language like SQL, full support for data science, machine learning, and has easily managed privacy, security, and compliance. So you might be asking, how can you do this? And it's rather simple. Since the lake house extends data lakes, a core foundation of cloud infrastructure. We can leverage the primitives in the data lake to make this possible. So let me explain. You have all of your data in Parquet decorated with, with, with Delta and things like that in a blob store like S3. And you decide which of those sets of data, which tables, which schema, which views you wanna share with a partner. That partner will get pre-signed URLs directly into S3. And it's something that's a core capability of systems like S3, like ADLS in Azure, like GCS in Google. So we leverage the cloud primitives and then get out of the way. So any system that can consume the data, any system that can understand a standard like Parquet can simply consume this using cloud infrastructure they understand. They can take data, that's in AWS and consume it in Google or Azure or any other cloud or on-premises. All they have to do is be able to understand how to fetch things over HTTP with well-known protocols. So it's fully open. It doesn't require Databricks. You can do this with open source Delta, open source Delta sharing. But because we are able to manage this, it's one click easy for you anywhere you run Databricks anywhere you run the lake house architecture. So no longer are you having to share within a cloud, within a vertical, any partner of yours can consume this in a compliant, simple, open way from anywhere on the earth, from other planets we're beginning to explore anywhere you want. And because of this openness, we have this fantastic ecosystem. Every open source client you can think of is supporting Delta sharing. Commercial clients are, su are supporting Delta sharing. This list is just the beginning. And a lot of data providers are realizing they can use data sharing to share their data sets. So you can easily integrate their data sets into your lake house with one click. Okay, now we've talked about getting data into the lake house, managing data in the lake house, and getting data out of the lake house. But you're thinking, I still need to make it easier. I can't hire these people. It's so hard to find people that are at this cutting edge of the technology to help me transform my business. So there's three more things I want to announce uh, and talk about coming on the roadmap. So we have a project called Delta Live Tables. What does Delta Live Tables do? It lets you transform anything in your lake house without writing code, 
We know so much about the data at this point, it's lineage, it's metadata, that you can say, I wanna take data from there and move it to there with these transformations. And that's all you have to do. You declare that transformation. We spin up all the machinery and get it done. You no longer have to hire data engineers to monitor machines. You hire people to declare what you want to happen in your lake house. And Delta Live Tables makes that live transformation always true, conformant to your SLAs and your quality expectations. So that's for the data engineer. Now let's talk about machine learning. Everybody knows that the majority of effort for machine learning is in data prep, right? You have no idea if this data in your lake house is ready for ML, will we'll produce good results in ML. So there's an industry called AutoML. And what AutoML does is it looks at data and it tries all the things it can think of, all the algorithms and libraries and frameworks for machine learning to say, this one will work for that data. This library, this framework, these, these parameters will work to predict the outcome you want. But then what are you left with? You're left with some AutoML thing that you know you can't productionize because it's a black box. Well, Databricks has glass box AutoML, meaning it tries all these, all these permutations but for each permutation, there's a full set of code we write for you. We write the code for you. It's totally transparent based on these open standards and you can run it in production and you can modify it and harden it to whatever you need to do to run it for your production workload. So basically we let you take any data in your data lake, in your lake house, and we tell you what of it is ready for ML to transform and predict your business and then your machine learning engineers can just harden it and take it into production, which is the work they love. But there's another persona you're thinking about, the data scientist. These people are also very hard to find, especially they can work on this kind of massive data transformation. So what are you doing to make it easier for them? Well, Databricks recently acquired 8080 Labs, which is the company behind very popular Bamboo Lib. What does Bamboo Lib do? Well, as you see in this animation, the, uh, when a data scientist goes into a notebook, it lets them point and click and how they want to explore the data, and it writes the proper data science code for you. So it does two things. First of all, they can explore data much faster without knowing as many preconceptions around data science, but then they become fluent data scientists because they learn the proper code as they use the tool. So it's a training capability as well as an acceleration capability for all of the data scientists in your organization. So in summary, with this lake house and everything we're building the platform around it to bring data in, manipulate data, get data out, make all the personas have to do a lot less work, you get more done with less work in the lake house. Thank you for being with us. Next up, you get to hear how a customer does this in practice. Excited to hear that myself. Thank you.